In a world where happiness is a wife, the media whispers, just play nice. But beware, fellas, it's a slippery slope. For in the quest to please, we often grope. Simps we become, manipulated and bent, risking respect till it's nearly spent. With waning desire and infidelity's lore, happy wife, happy life, it's not so sure. So heed this caution, don't fall on the sword, for balance is key in this marital accord. Welcome to the hallowed halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. In today's episodes, we explore the dark underbelly of Happy Wife, Happy Life philosophy. A seemingly innocuous piece of relationship advice that has been twisted and perverted into a recipe for disaster. We'll look at how this well-intentioned advice can lead men down the path of simping, weak behavior, and ultimately relationship failure. You've probably heard it tossed around like some golden sort of rule for relationships. But let me tell you something straight up. It's a trap. It's a trap. The rise of the simp. In the 21st century, the term simp has gained popularity describing a man who puts his own needs and desires on the back burner in an effort to please his partner. While the intention behind this behavior may be noble, the results are often disastrous. When men become so focused on making their partner happy that they neglect their own happiness, they risk becoming a doormat, a pushover, and ultimately a less attractive partner. In the iconic scene in the movie Knocked Up, where Ben Stone, Seth Rogen, is trying to make his girlfriend happy by buying her a new dress, he ends up spending $2,600 on a single outfit, only to find out that she still isn't satisfied. This is a perfect example of how happy wife, happy life, mentally can lead to simping and ultimately an unhappy relationship. Women are not attracted to simps. They might like the attention, validation, and the perks that come along with a doormat for a partner, but deep down they crave a man who's got some backbone, someone they can respect. The loss of respect. When a man engages in simping behavior, they risk losing the respect of their partner. As relationship expert Dr. John Gray says, when a man loses his sense of self in a relationship, he loses his ability to be as strong and assertive, which are qualities that women find attractive. In other words, when a man becomes a doormat, he becomes less attractive to his partner, leading to a decrease in sexual attraction for him. Now, you might be thinking, but wait, isn't it okay to compromise in a relationship? Sure, but here's a fine line between compromise and being a doormat. And trust me, you don't want to be on the other side of that line. So how do you avoid falling into the simp trap? It's simple. Start putting yourself first for a change. Set boundaries. 
Stand up for what you believe in. And don't be afraid to say no to something that doesn't sit right with you. In the TV show, How I Met Your Mother, we see this dynamic play out with the character Ted Mosby. Throughout the series, Ted is constantly trying to please his girlfriends, only to be met with rejection and disappointment. His simping behavior ultimately leads to a lack of respect from his partners, and he remains unlucky in love for the majority of the series. As Tony Robbins says in Awaken the Giant Within, the quality of your life is the quality of your relationships. And let me tell you, there's nothing high quality about a relationship built on one-sided compromise and a loss of respect. The cheating conundrum. When a woman loses respect for her partner and the sexual attraction wanes, the risk of infidelity increases. According to a study by the Institute of Family Studies, quote, women who report lower levels of relationship satisfaction are more likely to engage in extramarital affairs. This suggests that when a man engage in simping behavior and neglect their own needs, they inadvertently create an environment that encourages infidelity. According to recent studies, the rate of infidelity among women has been on the rise in recent years. One study published in the Journal of Family Psychology found that 20% of men and 13% of women reported that they have had sex with someone other than their spouse while married. And you know what's one of the biggest reasons cited for cheating is? You guessed it lack of respect and attention towards their partners. Another study published in the Archives of Sexual Behavior found that women are more likely to cheat if they were dissatisfied with their relationship or lacked emotional intimacy with their partner. But wait, there's more. Some women have been known to justify their infidelity by blaming their partner's lack of assertiveness or confidence. They say things like, he's just too nice, or he never stands up for himself. Sound familiar? Reclaiming your manhood. How can men avoid falling into this trap of simping and losing the respect of their partner? The key is to balance being attentive to your partner's needs and maintaining your own sense of self. As Jordan Peterson, a prominent psychologist and self-help guru says, you have to take care of yourself and you have to take care of your partner. If you don't take care of yourself, you can't take care of your partner. And if you don't take care of your partner, you're not taking care of yourself. In the end, happy wife, happy life philosophy can be a double-edged sword. While it's important to be attentive to your partner's needs, men must also remember to maintain their own sense of self and prioritize their happiness. By striking this balance, you can avoid the pitfalls of simping, maintain your partner's respect, and ultimately build a stronger and more fulfilling relationship. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least two friends. If you didn't find value, then I thank you for stopping by and watching this long, and please, check out my other videos and find something you do like. I want your personal stories to share, or if you see an article online and you think I should cover it, send the whole story and the link, just in case it's not there by the time I get to it. Email it to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way, others 
can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way you can help this channel grow and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys or check out my memes. Otherwise, I invite you to subscribe to my Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. In doing so, you are certainly helping to educate other men and have the best revenge by living well. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos and give them a thumbs up, which helps me create more content. A heart's beat to the city.